हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन द लेक्चर ऑफ डायनेमिक्स ऑफ मशीन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड द टॉपिक इंजन फोर्स एनालिसिस ओके सो इंजन फोर्स एनालिसिस वी हैव टू एनालाइज ऑल द फोर्सेस विच आर एक्टिंग ऑन द कंपोनेंट ऑफ द इंजन सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज द पिस्टन एफर्ट पिस्टन एफर्ट इज द net force which is acting on the piston okay so this is the main driving force okay so the piston we have calculated the piston effort in piston effort generally in the piston we we, we have two sides one side is no is known as the cover side and the second opposite side is known as the we can say that the connecting rod side okay so here we will have the connection connection of the connecting rod and here we will have the cover side cover side means all the combustible products will apply combustible product will apply the pressure here let's say p1 is the pressure which is applied by <coughs> applied by the uh, combustible products and a is the area of the piston on the cover side so p into a p1 into a1 is the the driving force which is acting on the piston okay in the opposite side we will have certain back pressure okay so the back pressure we are calculating in such a way that this is the total total area let's say back pressure which is acting is p2 this is the total area okay this is the total area and in that total area we have to we have to uh, minus the area of the rod connecting rod let's say total area is is total area we can say a1 okay and <coughs> area of the connecting rod is a1 dash area of the connecting rod is a1 dash so the net area on which this p2 pressure is acting is a1 minus a1 dash okay a1 minus a1 dash we have we have subtracted the area of the connecting rod so let's say this one we are we are writing as a2 so the total force which is acting in the opposite direction is p2 into a2 okay so we can say the the fp okay the force which is acting on the piston due to gas pressure fp is equal to p1 a1 minus p2 a2 p1 a1 minus p2 a2 okay <coughs> now the inertial component is going to reduce this piston force this uh, this uh, total uh, um, gas force okay so the inertial component is mb m r omega square cos theta plus cos 2 theta by n okay and frictional force which is also going to oppose the movement so the total net piston piston effort piston effort is net force net driving force that f will be equal to that piston effort we are writing f f will be equal to the gas pressure minus minus the fp minus the f f frictional force minus we are having the inertial component and this is the total driving force if the engine is vertical okay in the last lecture also if we have discussed that if the engine is engine is vertical okay if the engine is like this if the engine is vertical if the engine is vertical then mg will also support the piston movement so we can write this is plus mg if if frictional force is given then we will consider it otherwise these three forces we have to consider if the engine is horizontal then we don't have to take this component if the engine is vertical then we have to take this component okay so the the we have till now we have calculated the piston effort and piston effort is the net force which is acting on the piston okay now we are carrying the further analysis okay for that i am drawing the same diagram <coughs> this is the 
okay we have to draw this diagram very carefully so that we can show all the forces which is acting on the engine component okay so the circle i am drawing the moment of moment of the connecting rod okay from here this is the horizontal line horizontal line we can designate for the piston okay so this is the piston part this is the crank okay so now i am drawing the connecting rod connecting rod is let's say this one is the connecting rod connecting rod here we are having the crank pin okay crank pin this is the crank okay and and <coughs> this is the crank shaft okay piston connecting rod crank crank pin this one now the net force which was acting on the piston is the crank effort and this crank effort we have designated with f and f we have calculated from the gas pressure inertial force weight friction all the components we have we have we have <coughs> taken care okay now <coughs> in the same manner again we will draw the perpendicular this angle is theta this angle is beta now the first force which we are going to calculate is is first one we have calculated the piston effort second one we are calculating is second one we are calculating is the force force or thrust along along the connecting rod connecting rod okay so this is the force thrust which is acting along the connecting rod and we are designating this one as a f c okay so this is the force which is acting along the connecting rod okay along the connecting rod this is the connecting rod and this force is acting along the connecting rod let's say force acting along the connecting rod is fc okay so fc we can calculate fc we can calculate with the help of crank effort first we have calculated the crank effort okay this angle beta is given this r is given okay r is the uh, connect uh, crank length and this angle theta is given okay now all the forces we have to calculate in terms of r theta beta and this f which is crank effort okay so fc we can calculate fc in the horizontal direction if we will draw the free body diagram then fc cos beta will be equal to f okay we can write fc cos beta equal to f fc cos beta equal to f from here we can calculate the fc which is equal to f divided by cos beta f is given beta is given so we can calculate the force along the connecting rod okay now the third force which we are calculate calculating is the thrust thrust or force on the side on the sides of cylinder okay so this is the force which is acting on the sides of cylinder where where is cylinder cylinder means inside that the piston is moving and there will be one vertical force which is acting on the sides of the cylinder which we are writing as fn okay so this is the force fn which is acting on the sides of the cylinder so fn how we are going to calculate again draw free body diagram component of fc in the downward direction will give the value of fn so we can write fc sin beta fc sin beta is equal to fn fc sin beta is equal to fn now we have to calculate the fn now we have to calculate the value of fn so the fn will be equal to fn will be equal to fc cos beta and fc we have calculated from here fc will be equal to f divided by cos beta fc sin beta so here we will have sin beta from here we can write this will this one will be equal to f 10 beta okay so this is the value f 10 
beta f tan beta f tan beta is f we are having the value of f crank effort and beta is the angle of connecting rod at certain instant okay so we have calculated the thrust on the sides of cylinder okay now the next force which we are calculating is is the crank effort crank effort okay so this is the most important part which we have to understand <coughs> the crank effort because with the help of crank effort we will able to calculate the turning moment which is acting on the crank shaft okay so now the crank effort crank effort what is crank effort crank effort is the force exerted on the crank pin where is crank pin this one crank pin as a result of the force on the piston okay so the force which is acting on the crank pin as a result of the force which is acting on the crank pin okay crank effort is the net effort or force applied at the crank pin perpendicular to the crank which gives the required turning moment on the crank shaft okay so the crank effort always acts perpendicular to the crank okay so this is the perpendicular direction f crank we are writing this one we are designating as ft okay so this is ft crank effort okay crank effort now we have to calculate this force okay how we are going to calculate this force this force at this crank pin we are having two forces one is ft other one is fc okay ft the tendency of ft will be to will be tendency of ft will will be to rotate this crank okay so how we are going to balance these forces for that listen very carefully okay we will extend this line of connecting rod okay so we are extending the line of connecting rod we have extended the line of connecting rod okay now draw a perpendicular now we are drawing this perpendicular line perpendicular to the horizontal direction this perpendicular line we have extended okay so we have extended this perpendicular line <coughs> okay then we will draw a perpendicular from o on this connecting rod we have drawn a perpendicular from this one okay so this is the 90 degree angle okay this one these two lines are parallel lines these two lines are parallel line if this angle is beta okay this is 90 degree okay so this is 90 degree so this one is 90 minus beta this angle will be 90 minus beta if this angle is 90 minus beta so this angle will also be 90 minus beta okay now this angle is also these two lines are perpendicular to each other this one is theta so this complete angle complete angle will be equal to this complete angle will be equal to 90 minus theta okay if this angle is 90 minus beta this is 90 so this angle this angle will be equal to beta okay so this angle is beta and this angle the complete angle complete angle is 90 minus theta so our interest is to calculate this angle okay why we have interested that will be discussed we will discuss later on so we want to calculate this angle this angle is beta d beta this this complete angle is 90 minus theta so this angle will be equal to 90 minus theta minus beta okay so this angle will be equal to will be equal to 90 minus this angle will be equal to 90 minus 90 minus theta minus beta or we can write 90 minus theta plus beta 90 minus theta plus beta okay <coughs> now this angle is 90 minus theta plus beta this angle is 90 degree so this angle will be equal to this angle will be equal to theta plus beta this angle will be equal to theta plus beta this angle is 90 minus theta plus beta this is 90 degree so this angle will be equal to theta plus beta okay now one thing is clear we have calculated this angle okay now 
why we are calculating this angle because now we are calculating the effect of these two forces on the point o or point or the crank shaft this ft into r ft into r will produce a moment that is ft into r <coughs> that is ft into r ft into r and this ft into r will be equal to equal to this force fc into perpendicular distance <coughs> we are calculating moment this ft actually we are having this this force crank effort actually we are having the piston effort due to piston effort we are having the uh, force along the connecting rod and due to that connecting rod force we will have one turning moment at this center point so that for calculating the moment we will we have to know the force into perpendicular distance and this perpendicular distance this length of the crank is r so the perpendicular distance will be equal to this angle is theta plus beta so r cos theta plus beta is this one and r sin theta plus beta is this one o let's say this one is o dash so o o dash o o dash o o dash o o dash will be equal to o o dash will be equal to o o dash will be equal to r r r sin theta plus beta okay o o dash will be equal to this angle is uh, this length is r r sin theta plus beta okay r sin theta plus beta because the force is theta plus beta is here so this one will be equal to sin cos component and this one is the sin component so th actually the force is acting fc fc multiplied by r sin theta plus beta r sin theta plus beta and due to this effect we will have a force on on the the crank and which is ft into r so we have equated these two forces now rr cancel out ft we are able to calculate which is equal to fc sin theta plus beta fc sin theta plus beta okay now f c we are already having fc f divided by cos beta we have to convert all the values in terms of given quantity given quantities are f theta beta so this is the crank effort ft is the crank effort which is f divided by cos beta sin theta plus beta one force is also important which is which is thrust thrust on the bearing thrust on the bearings okay <coughs> thrust on the bearings thrust on the bearings means the force which is acting along this direction okay so this is f f we are designating as fr okay so this fr will be equal to fr will be equal to component of fc along this direction fc is acting here fc is acting in this direction component a component of fc means fc cos theta plus beta which is equal to fr okay so fr will be equal to this is we are designating as fr so fr is equal to fc cos theta plus beta and fc we are already having the value of fc which is equal to f divided by cos beta cos theta plus beta okay so these are the all the forces which are acting on the component first we have calculated the crank effort first we have calculated the piston effort with the help of gaseous forces inertia force friction force and mass m then we have calculated fc this is the force along the connecting rod then fn force force along force on the wall of cylinder okay sides of cylinder then we have calculated the crank effort <coughs> this crank effort multiplied by r crank effort multiplied by r is nothing but the turning moment okay which is going to help to rotate this 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 crank shaft then we have calculated ft then ft with the help of ft we have we have calculated with the help of fc we have calculated fr fr is the force or the thrust on the bearing okay now the next objective is is we have to calculate the we have to calculate 
next objective is we have to calculate the turning moment on crank shaft we have to calculate the turning moment on crank shaft turning moment on crank shaft so the turning moment on the crank shaft we are writing this one as a t so t is nothing but ft into r turning moment is nothing but ft into r so the value of ft we have already calculated the ft is f divided by cos beta sin theta plus beta into r okay so we are just simplifying this equation now we are simplifying this equation which is equal to f divided by f into r divided by cos beta now open sin theta sin a plus b then we will have sin a cos b plus cos a and sin b okay now we are inserting this cos theta inside then fr here we will have sin theta cos theta cos beta cos beta cancel out plus plus we will have cos theta sin sin beta divided by cos beta okay this value <coughs> now we know the conversion of sin sin beta and cos beta we have already calculated that value so this sin sin beta is equal to sin beta is equal to sin beta is equal to sin theta by n we already know and cos beta is equal to 1 by n under root of n square minus sin square n square minus sin square theta this one we have already discussed okay now put these values in, in the above equation then fr sin theta we know plus cos theta into sin beta is sin theta divided by n and in the lower side we will have 1 upon n under root of n square minus sin square theta this one n n cancel out this f we are writing f into r f into r sin theta plus we are multiplying 2 above and lower then 2 sin theta cos theta will be equal to sin 2 theta sin 2 theta divided by sin 2 theta divided by 2 under root of n square minus sin square theta so this is the value this is the expression for the turning moment now in actual situation what we know we know the crank effort we know the length of the connecting rod we know the length of the crank r l we know and we know the angle of angle of crank from inner dead center idc so we have converted our equation in that term okay or in in another way we can also write this value we can say that this is o and this distance is d where d is t d is just a perpendicular line perpendicular line d is the point of intersection of the connecting rod and perpendicular drawn which is perpendicular to the moment of moment of piston okay so this is d now we can exp we can express this value this value as a as like uh, this r this value okay crank effort we are writing one uh, f upon cos beta sin theta plus beta into r means r sin theta plus beta r sin theta plus beta is nothing but o o dash okay r sin theta plus beta is nothing but o o dash and this o o dash we can also write we can also write as a od cos beta okay this o o dash o o dash we can also write od cos beta okay od cos beta so from here we have we can write f t is equal to f divided by cos beta sin theta plus beta into r this one this expression this expression we have written here this value r sin 
theta plus beta we can write this one as a as a od od cos beta okay cos cos cancel out we can calculate f t is equal to means turning moment is equal to f into od okay so geometrically if you are able if you are able to calculate this distance od then the turning moment will be equal to f into od okay so this is it for today's lecture today we have discussed all the forces which are acting on the crank which is acting on the crank uh, the engine component first one we have calculated the piston effort which is the net force which is net net force which is acting on the piston piston okay with the help of this one we have calculated crank effort now the with the help of crank crank effort we have calculated the force along the connecting rod which is fc then fn force on the wall of the cylinder then we have calculated the crank effort crank effort is the net force which is acting on the crank pin crank pin and with the help of that one that one we can calculate the value of required turning moment so this is the crank uh, this one is the force which is exerted on the crank pin as a result of force on the piston okay and the crank effort is the net force applied at the crank pin perpendicular to the crank which gives the required turning moment okay so this is the force which which gives the turning moment so we have calculated this value now we are we have this force crank effort with the help of crank effort we have calculated the crank we have calculated the turning moment turning moment in terms of f r and theta n n is the function of r and l okay and geometrically if we are calculate able to calculate od then the turning moment will be equal to ft this turning moment will be equal to crank effort f and perpendicular distance from the from the horizontal line on the line of connecting rod od okay so this is it for today thank you